What's up, family? This is Aqua Goddess coming to give you all a general reading. I hope that you guys are having a great day today. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in our description box below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to be notified for your future readings. And if you are returning, welcome back, family. Thank you for your love and support. I truly appreciate you. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, most high. Please protect me and my collective as I channel messages. Please provide the most clear messages. Please return all negative energy back to sender. 20 million fold. Anyone out there showing me love? Much love and light to you. All right, Spirit, what do we have for the collective? Beauty. So some of you guys are born in June. Or you could be born on the 6th of some month. I'm here on 624, June 24th. You guys are looking very attractive at this time. You've went through a transformation. I see that there's some type of spiritual lessons, karmic lessons that you've learned from. And you've transformed into your higher self. If you're not quite there yet I see you transitioning here spirit is saying be devoted make the commitment to yourself make the sacrifice for yourself and I see home some of you guys are definitely going to be manifesting a new home or I see a change in your home some of you guys are new parents. You may have just had a new baby. I see you living a very comfortable life with the fortune card here. A lot of money, prosperity, wealth, abundance. Life. I see. I'm also seeing 627. Angel number 627. I've been seeing that number all day. Somebody wants your forgiveness for something. Spirit, what does this person want my collective's forgiveness about? So they want your forgiveness because they understand that this connection did not grow. I see this person rising. So they're stepping into their higher self, their higher power. This person is wanting to rekindle some things. You're looking very attractive. You're attracting this. You're pulling this person's energy in, whether you know this or not. And I see some type of progression going on in this connection. You know, I see that you guys found yourself moving on from this person, but they've had a change of mind and they're wanting to come towards you. This person is having issues with closure. So you may have ended things very swiftly or just very logically with not a lack of emotion, you know. And this person is having an issue dealing with that, coping with that, with the changes. Stabbed in the back. So this person feels like you're stabbing them in the back by moving on, by separating yourself from this energy. But I see you just want to change. You want to growth. You wanted to go through a new phase and you were devoted to the situation. 
For some of you all, you may have even shared a home with this person. And it's like this person is playing the blame game. Because they're heartbroken. This person is deeply hurt by the separation, whether they ever admit it to you or not. And I see this person being the Grim Reaper. So this is somebody who really play with your mind, play with your emotions. I'm hearing for some of you, they wanted to sacrifice your soul because they were heart, because they're heartbroken. Because they feel at home with you and they may have lived with you at some point. You were very devoted to this person. They feel like you owe them something by moving forward with your life. Why is this person so entitled? Because they're replaying things over and over and over again in their head. They're replaying events over and over again in their head. On how they jeopardize this whole entire connection something that this person did was completely crossing the line for some of you all this person could be into music or play music or make music or something of that sort and i see that you are very abundant for some of you all you will be blessed with a new home a lot of money fortune here this person wants to come towards you because I feel like this is opportunist energy. So at some point, they could have used you for something or you at least felt that way. And it may have even become a one-sided situation where you were pulling most of the weight. Yeah. What is to come for my beautiful collective? Your health will be good or your health will be improving for a lot of you guys. So if you've been going through health issues, that is definitely going to be improving. And I see you leveling up, using your spiritual experiences to become a teacher or a mentor. I'm seeing the number six a lot. Uh, you could born, be born in June or on the sixth of some month here. Tell me more about this mature woman. Tell me more about this mature woman. You're no longer thinking about this person, even though they took you through pain. I see you moving forward and prog progressing in life. You know, showing up for yourself. And the community. So you could be a public speaker or a mentor or someone that has a positive influence on the community. If you're not currently doing this, you could be doing this by the age of 39. And you're very authentic. I see you standing in your power and your truth. You're going to be able to help a lot of people with this. And here's this house energy again. So definitely a new house for somebody that I'm, you could be, you could have experienced something at the home that you live in that was not so pleasant and you're replaying these events over and over in your head and you're wanting to move. You're going to be able to manifest this, this new home. For some of you, someone could have tried to rob you at your home or watched you and tried to take something from you. Yeah. Picking up that energy strong. I see a change coming. A new car, a new home, something changing, a new job for some of you guys, or a new love, a new co connection, something that you're not expecting. Some of you all could be winning money through court as well. I see cold hearted energy. So whoever this past person was, they treated you like you were somebody out there on the streets. Like they had not a care in the world for you, your well-being, anything of that sort. And you leveled up. You moved past this person. They tried to steal things from you. 
And it, for some of you guys, like I said, they lived off of you or something of that sort. Yeah. Saying 614. Yeah, you are maturing. You are so much standing in your power. You are comfortable with being yourself. You're comfortable with expressing yourself. You're using the lessons that you learn to empower yourself and others. And I see nothing but growth and transformation in your life. But this person is fatal attraction here. You have dangerous passion. Bread as a bleeding heart. Some of you all are turning 35 this year. Be careful. There's somebody that's passionate about you to the point to where it's like they're willing to hurt you. You see, I'm seeing somebody getting, I don't even want to say it, but they're willing to do something. Be very careful. And this, for some of you all, this could be a stranger also in your community that's completely infatuated with you. They could be watching you, have a certain type of passion about you, and try to come out that you do some type of thing that they, they didn't think out first. They may try to steal from you or rob you or something of that sort. Or rape. I'm, I'm saying all type of energy. Quest, searching for my grill. So this is you, and this is the energy that I'm picking up here. You're reaching out to an authentic spiritual guru, a healer, a teacher. Yeah. Some of you all may, be, may have become a spiritual guru, a teacher, or something of that sort. And you're manifesting a house through that just by being yourself. Angel number 1212. I see exploring far off lands are awaiting. So you explore something, um, some type of journey, something that you are passionate about. And I see this is helping you with your abundance. You're manifesting a great fortune here. Spirit is saying, use your time wisely. Time is an illusion, but use, have a certain type of order about yourself. All right, Spirit, what else does my collective need to know? King of Pentacles. You may be having a new phase with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Someone that's very good with family. They work very hard. They live a co comfortable lifestyle. This person can be materialistic at times, but they like to take care of home, of family. This is a teacher, somebody that you can learn a lot from. Someone that's wanting to invest in you. Yeah, they're very passionate about you. This is a very charming, good-looking individual as well. And they find you to be very mature. There's something about your energy that's very healthy. This person feels like you make great decisions. Whomever this past person is, they're facing harsh judgment by the higher source. Even death for some of them. This person's in the graveyard. They could be doing graveyard magic as well because they were heartbroken. This is a grim reaper here that wants a fresh start. But I see you getting a fresh start with someone that's marriage material, a king of pentacles, somebody that can hold it down, a ride or die energy, somebody that knows what they want, that's already established. They don't need you for anything. They just want you. And you are going to be able to tame the beast. For some of you guys, this is a Taurus Leo energy. I see a lot of strength and a lot of courage. With you replaying these events in your head, it has made you really change how you love, who you love, where you invest. 
It's made you change your whole direction. You went through a life-changing cycle. And I see you now with a vision, a leader, someone of power and authority, somebody that's courageous and brave with a lot of great ideas, very creative person, a lot of fire and passion and energy. Yes, you, my friend, are manifesting the life that you desire. Spirit is saying that you must forgive. You must not hold grudges. You must understand that those people made the decisions that they made based off of what they were going through at the time. Understand that your journey is your journey right now as a time to be grateful for your blessings. All praises to the most high one. Always be grateful for your blessings. You're reaching a higher phase in your life right now where you're going to be able to really see what you've been investing your time and energy in. So use your time wisely, my friends. Spirit is watching over you very closely and you will be tested. There'll be some helping hands along the way, but you'll be tested. All right. Those are the messages that I have for you today, loves. If you enjoy this reading, if it resonates with your story, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Much love and much light. Peace.